I finally have uh, a little sultan <laughs> running around the desert, the uh, desert southwest of the United States of America. And uh, I am right now living in El Paso, Texas. And I was listening to a show on National Public Radio. It's called Fresh Air. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, these people got some names out there. That, I mean, and they, they, I mean, they say it like Fresh Air. I mean, like, oh, wow, this is a hell of a show. Uh, anyhow, they have this lady selling a book, and apparently this lady, uh, she works for uh, the repeaters, and uh, she's complaining because she cannot do her job. <laughs> so, I was thinking about that. Uh, what her job title will be? What, what is it? What, what is her job? Selling a stove? Or reporting what really is happening in the United States of America. Anyhow, long story short, they uh, finally uh, asked a question, very important actually. They, uh, they, re they, they make reference to a statistics that in 2047, in 2047, now we are in 2020, so that, that means another uh, 27 years. The white population will no longer be the majority. <laughs> uh, this is crazy because that is not what I see. As I travel through the United States of America, I do not see Europeans as a majority anywhere in reality, especially in the southwest of the United States, all the way from California to uh, Louisiana. You see the reality of the United States of America that is native, is native to the Americas. The European population do not longer uh, uh, reproduce like uh, the uh, the native. Now they were talking about how are they going to deal with it? <laughs> I love it. How are they going to deal with it? Because the white population might feel threatened. <laughs> well, I think that you be. I think that you be threatened, and I tell you why. Because anybody, not in 2047, but today, today, who identify themselves as a color, as a white color, have to realize that they are in the minority, <laughs> and they do no longer have an advantage. So it's only one way to deal with it, and that is include everyone. Take away all this color coding, fire all these people selling books and crap dividing us, and do and do math. Just do truly mathematic equations. Hey listen. The United States of America can no longer be America. America is a continent. The United States of America can no longer be about colors, about white and black and browns and all these irrelevant colors. The United States of America cannot be about political parties, private political parties. We all must be included. That is the only way ahead. That is, I don't see it any other way. Unless you give the nation to the Europeans and become Europeans, then it's over. Uh, we, we will no longer be the Illuminados in this planet, or in this planet. We just be European followers. So, uh, to fresh air, this is my fresh air. <laughs> uh, 
stop calling yourself Americans, stop calling yourself colors, and stop calling yourself that this is my job to sell you crap. Anybody can be a journalist these days. Anybody with a little ideas in their heads can be a truly journalist, like me. I'm not call myself a journalist, but I have my observations, and my observation, the reality is, that we don't have to wait for 2047 to somebody to tell me that I am in the majority. <laughs> that I am not an American, but a United States of America national. I don't have to 2047 to tell me, hey, the Constitution of the United States of America allow me to be a citizen journalist. I can go out there and ask whatever questions I want. And you too, you can do it. If you listen to me, you can do it. And I think it should be your job to do it. I think we all need to do that job to promote the United States of America and to get in the way of these people who are selling us crap and division like Mr. Joe Biden, Mr. Trump, and Mr. Color Coding You from England. So uh, that is my rant for today. Do no way until someone tell you that you are the minority, majority. <laughs> You don't have to wait to uh, another 27 years. Right now, you are the majority. We, the American people, the continent of American people, are the majority on this planet. The ones making the difference in the entire planet. From the United States of Mexico, from Brazil, from Argentina, from uh, uh, Puerto Rico, uh, Colombia, Venezuela, Chile, Canada. We are making the difference in this planet. We are a continent, and it should be should be should be think, should be thought after that way. The United States of America can no longer afford colors. It's impossible. My rant is over. Protect and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. Make sure that it is working, that it is in place, that it is doing what it's supposed to do. Unite the United States of America in our symbols. Saludos.